Okay, this is Captain Chavez from Station 40 in Pico Rivera uh, reviewing this one's blackboard dealing with SEBA. We are going to review and hopefully provide some safety tips to maximize your knowledge of the Spirian Warrior, rules of air management, and department policy relating to our use of the SEBA in the IDLH atmosphere. Each of us should be performing the daily and weekly checks as a routine measure. Once we are in an IDLH atmosphere, who is watching out for safety when our SEBA starts alarming or the warning lights begin blinking and changing colors? Donning the SCBA in an approved manner. The SCBA waist strap should be comfortable with the majority of the support coming from the waist area. The shoulder straps should be snug but allow for free movement and flexibility to perform tasks. The air cylinder shall be open fully, charging and activating the SCBA. The hood and face piece shall be donned with the hood correctly placed covering all exposed surfaces. The second stage regulator shall now be connected and we're ready to go to work. Let's start with the face piece in HUD. The operation of the VPU gets a little confusing or so it seems, so here we go. One click will provide a temporary two second use. Two clicks will provide continuous use. The second stage regulator attaches to the face piece using the air click system. The HUD is mounted as part of the second stage regulator. When the second stage regulator is attached to the face piece, the HUD display is visible through the opening in the face piece nozzle cover. Once the face piece is donned and operational, the HUD or heads up display will be operational and provide the following information. Four green lights equals 100 to 75%. Three green lights, 75 to 52%. Your first 50% is operational. Two green lights, 52 to 27%. The green light will flash for 20 seconds. Time to exit, time to go. One green light equals 27% changing to flashing red, indicating approximately 25% or less. This is an emergency use only. Audible alarm will be activated. Know your operating policies and the SCBA limitations. Check your gauge every three minutes. There is one red light on the front of the HUD that will activate when the air pressure drops to 25%. The red light will blink noticeably faster as the pressure drops to 10%. A high pressure air hose is routed over the right shoulder strap and attached to the air pressure gauge pass alarm assembly. Air pressure is illustrated from full to empty using quarter increments. The intermediate pressure hose is routed over the left shoulder and incorporates the electrical pneumatic connector. Located on the right side of the backpack is the battery compartment that houses four C-size batteries. All electronics are supplied by these batteries except the voice amplifier. Low air warning. Audible alarm will sound at 23 to 27 percent of your air supply, roughly 1,035 to 1,215 psi. The speaker is located on the upper part of the backpack. Your pass can be activated three ways. No movement for 20 seconds will flash red on pass. Hold down red button on front until alarm sounds. Continuously click red pass button until alarm sounds. To deactivate your pass, double click the yellow button on the side. Backpack warning lights. Operational batteries will cause the amber lights on the backpack to flash every 10 seconds. Low batteries will cause the amber lights to flash every two seconds. A red light above the amber battery status will blink when the user's air status has reached a quarter of the supply left. In normal operation, Alternating green LEDs blink every second on each side of the air cylinder. Pass activated. Alternating green and red. Pass full alert. Red LEDs blink every second. The Warrior SCBA comes equipped with the Rapid Intervention Crew Universal Air Connection. Located on the lower left side of the backpack, the USC has a dust cover that must be used at all times. Connection to the UAC via the matting fill coupling allows a one direction flow of air into the user's air cylinder. The UAC is intended for refilling an air cylinder under emergency situations. It must never be used as a buddy breathing device for SCBA to SCBA filling or as a continuous air supply. The emergency breathing safety system is designed to allow a connection to a supplied line or another EBSS. 
It is intended to supply emergency air to a firefighter who has become lost, trapped, or disoriented in an IDLH atmosphere. The EBSS is located in a storage pouch on the wearer's left hip and consists of a 39-inch intermediate pressure hose and a Y block with a male and female quick connect. When two SCPAs are connected using the EBSS, there is no transfer of air. The SCBA with the higher intermediate pressure will automatically supply both SCBAs until the air is exhausted. Learn it, read it, live it. <laughs> <laughs> okay.